I would like to provide some information on Hinduism and Sai Baba. The base of Hinduism is the belief in reincarnation. Hindus believe that the soul is on a journey to eventually merge with God. This journey lasts many lifetimes, with each lifetime presenting an opportunity to hasten the trip. Godmen, or avatars, appear to guide man on the correct path. Krishna, Rama, Buddha, and Christ are a few of the well-known avatars. Many of Sai Baba's devotees believe that he is an avatar in our generation. His story is compelling. Born in Puttaparthi on November 23, 1926, Satya Narayana Raju was a good son, one who refused to eat meat, insisted on feeding beggars, and led his playmates in singing bhajans. In 1940, at the age of 13, young Satya announced to his parents that I am no longer your Satya. I am Sai. Satya Narayana announced to his family that he was the reincarnation of Shirdi Sai Baba, a northern Indian saint, and that he was leaving home to serve his devotees. He would now be known as Satya Sai Baba. Although not known in southern India, Shirdi Sai Baba was a revered saint in northern India. He lived in the village of Shirdi, and he would sleep one night in the Hindu temple and the next night in the Muslim mosque. As both Muslims and Hindus loved him, he created harmony between the two sects. Before Shirdi Sai Baba died in 1918, he told his followers that he would reincarnate in southern India in eight years, 1926, the year Sai Baba was born. Over the years, Sai Baba gained a very large following. Today, he is considered the most popular guru in India, a land populated by gurus. Sai Baba says, my life is my message. And as Jesus Christ said, you shall know them by their fruits. Sai Baba has many fruits. Sai Baba essentially works 24-7. Each morning he arises and about 7 a.m. comes out to the Darshan Hall where thousands of his devotees wait to see him. He walks among them as he has for years, stopping, talking, and finally giving a few lucky people personal interviews. In the interviews, he exhibits amazing knowledge of people's individual lives. During the day, he works with the Satya Sai organization, planning the building of schools, hospitals, and other projects. The organization today is active in over 100 countries and boasts over 50 million members. Every evening, bhajans are sung in the Darshan Hall, and Sai Baba comes to sing and listen. On many evenings, there are performances in the Puna Chandra. Sai Baba attends all of these performances, which are put on by different Sai groups worldwide. Sai Baba has the ability to materialize things out of thin air. Generally, it is a ring or other piece of jewelry. He says, that these materializations 
are his calling card. Stories go back to his youth when he would materialize different fruits from the same tree for his friends. Mostly, however, Sai Baba materializes the booty. The booty is ash. It has a sweet smell and symbolizes the end. Nothing can be manufactured from ash. Years ago, at a celebration, Sai Baba entertained devotees by producing large amounts of it from an empty jar. More of a booty, perhaps, than the full jar could hold. The teachings of Sai Baba center around service or seva, as it is called. Love all, serve all. Hurt never, help ever. Sai Baba states that he does not have a dogma to teach. Stay within the religion you were born into, he states. But if you are a Christian, become a better Christian. If you are a Muslim, a better Muslim. A Jew, a better Jew. Your actions are what count and not your religious convictions. The Sarva Dharma symbol representing the Sai organization contains the symbols of many religions. On his 70th birthday in 1995, over one million people came to put a party. Baba's birthday speech stayed on message, asking people to provide service to others. Devotees. God doesn't need anything. Because everything is divine. The immovable, immovable is divine. God doesn't receive no gift. It originates from your heart. Therefore, do help to others. Render service. Service our life. There's nothing beyond service. Embodiments of love. In this conference, people from various countries participate. What is the main idea of this conference? We should render service. Wherever there is need, we should surrender, dedicate our body, mind, and intellect. With only the spirit of service, you can be a leader. Without being a servant, you cannot be a leader. How can you be a leader? Consider yourself Kinkara the servant, not the Sankara the leader. As the birthday celebration continued, Sai Baba sat in the seat of honor and patiently listened to various speeches and entertainment. There is never a request for money at the ashram. Sometimes you wonder how it manages to do all the things that it does. Sai Baba insists that no money be collected in any of his organizations. They just seem to have anonymous donations from devotees appear. I had not been to the ashram in 18 years now and wondered how it had changed. <laughs> 